Today's directed drawing is going to come from the story Unplugged. This directed drawing is going to be a little bit different than the ones we've done before. You should have received in your packet a paper that just says, I will stay unplugged by. So this is a directed drawing that will also have a little bit of a writing assignment attached. Before you begin drawing, go ahead and write on the lines how you're going to stay unplugged this summer. I'm going to play outside more, maybe ride my bike, go to the beach. How will you stay unplugged? Write your answers down on the line. And once you're done, um, you can begin your directed drawing. Don't forget to grab your crayons, a pencil, and a marker if you have it. Start with your pencil. I'm going to start with my marker. This directed drawing also does not have official step-by-step -step procedures. I did attach on your seesaw activity a robot directed drawing. Um, this one's going to be a little bit different because I'm making it up as we go. <laughs> so to start this directed drawing, I first made a line going across. Now I left a gap because there will be a little neck, but I drew the line. I made it longer than the box that was on the paper. Okay. Then using, I'm using the sides as my guide. I am going to draw another line to connect it to form that corner. If you want, you can use a ruler if you really want straight lines, but just use your, the side as your guide and you should be fine. And then you're going to connect it and you're going to have one big rectangle. That's going to be his head. So the, the rectangle head should be a little bit bigger than the rectangle body. Then you're going to draw another rectangle on the inside. This one is going to be very, it's going to just leave a skinny little line in between. Okay, so after you drew the head, you can add the neck. Now there are, think about a robot. A robot is um, full of metal and if we're lucky, they can bend. So we're going to do some like almost like a U, but a very stretched out U, slightly curved lines. And that's for the neck. Then you're going to come up here and you're going to draw two big circles for the eyes. Now, when I draw circles, I like to imagine what they are going to to look like before I put my pencil down. Decide which direction you want your eyes to go. And color those in. Now, the book, um, character in the book has the background black and leaves the mouth white. I did the opposite. You can choose how you wanna color your robot. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the arms. Now there's not a lot of room for the arms, so you're gonna have to be a little creative, but you're gonna come right below the dots for the line, and you're gonna come up, and whatever you just mirror it on the bottom. Now, it's not quite right, so you're gonna make a U shape. Now, do you see how I missed the connection? I can just come back and add it. I'm gonna come up and you're almost making like a macaroni shape piece, okay? It is a rainbow, an upside down rainbow, and it's gonna go off the paper a little bit and that's okay. Just imagine where it would be. Then you're gonna come over here. You wanna start it in the same, same location, but this time I'm gonna go down with the arm and down with the arm, but this, you're still making that, that macaroni shape, the rainbow shape. 
attached. Then we're gonna add some of those movement pieces just like we did for the neck, okay? Now we're gonna come down and draw the legs. His legs aren't very long, so you don't have to worry too much about it. And then draw another horseshoe, draw another horseshoe. I think I did this one a little bit backwards, but it's okay. If you can tell here, my, my feet are going in the opposite direction here. But again, it's a directed drawing, so you just do your best. I'm gonna come up here and make the movement pieces again. Don't go too crazy on them. You don't want too many movement pieces. Okay. And then the last thing is, remember, he needs to stay unplugged. So we're going to draw his cord coming down from him. Um, again, I just mirrored the pieces. I'm going to make the little plug. And you can do your plug in either way. You can make a plug that you plug into an outlet or in the book, to me, it reminds me more of like an iPhone charger. So there he is. He is all ready to be colored now. Um, again, make sure you have that writing. Your, all of your teachers are going to be looking for the writing. And then um, go ahead and color him. You can add some background. I put my robot outside and I, there's some flowers growing around. Okay, it is up to you how you color it. Um, have fun. You can even come up here. I think there's some shapes in the story right here. You can add more details. It's your robot. You pick and choose how you want to do it. Okay, great job, everyone.